Hello everyone, Carlos here. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about two vulnerabilities that came out on February 19, 2024 for ConnectWise Remote Connect. Now, those these two vulnerabilities are big ones because they're being exploited currently in the wild. And there are CVE 2024-1709, an authentication bypass with a CVSS score of 10. In addition to that, we have CVE 2024-1708, path reversal with a CVE SS score of eight. Uh, so these two vulnerabilities are big ones. Uh, now what happened was that this was put out, out there by the vendor. Hey, you need to patch this. You need to patch it very quickly. And quickly we saw on the next day on the 20th, that demos were already being put out of post uh, of proof of concept code uh, saying like, Hey, this is very easy to exploit patch. In addition to that, we saw some great guidance come out from the Huntress team, including Sigma rules on detecting and addressing this, including some ad advice on how to set up proper logging for this so you would be prepared in the case of exploitation. Now, this is great. I love the Huntress team and what they have done here. I hope to see this more from other companies out there. But sadly, other degree researchers and companies out there also put out proof of concept code. And within a couple of hours, we started seeing mass exploitation of this. In fact, I got a call from a friend who at the next day on 2021 was dealing with this same vulnerability being exploited into his environment where somebody got access to his ConnectWise server and they started deploying crypto miners. And we started going through some of the steps and some of the challenges that he was in, uh, confronting as he's, he was trying to perform IR for his environment. Sadly, we also saw Lockbed jump into the mix and start encrypting systems launching ransomware attacks. So this is a very big one and you need to patch. Now I'm not going to go over everything that Huntress did. I'm going to put a reference link into the description of this video, but I have to say, do check it out. But I do want to cover what happens if you're a customer that is dealing with this. My friend was struggling because he had to upgrade multiple versions of ConnectWise. They were running an older version to be able to then patch. And that was taking some time for him, especially validating everything, that everything was working properly and they could use the product. So during that time window was when they got attacked as they were doing all of the reboots and the upgrades. We can see that you can get the advisory, you can be very quickly to patch within those 48 hours, 24 hours, but you're running against the clock once a proof of concept code goes out there. If we go to the events audit page, my recommendation is quickly start going through all of the different entries as they come from logins and the attack, the way that it works and the proof of concept that has been put out there is that attackers are adding an additional account to the system. So you quickly can look through a list of logons and see if there was one for an account that you have never seen before. So you can start addressing that. Sadly, their extension for syslog does not send messages for logins and log offs for some reason. Uh, so if you're using syslog uh, extension that comes with the product, you may have to go to the web console and start doing those queries to find that information. Some of the methods of attack that we have been seeing out there being used is that they're using the copy file property of the tool itself to copy a file to the target system and then execute it using the GUI. In addition, in the case of my friend, one of the things that they were using is that they had the RESTful API extension installed, and that was used to massively put the miners across all of the systems. Are you covering those data sources? You have several ways of detecting this. One of those, as we can see from the article from Huntress, is an XML file actually being created on disk when the user gets added. And you can monitor for that either using Windows auditing or Sysmon. So that means that you need to have a configuration management system where you can deploy an audit and SACL to that folder very quickly. Many environments out there are not set up with configuration management and have not gone through this exercise. This is something that I highly, highly recommend that you go through in a tabletop exercise. In addition to that, many other environments are not pulling down the logs 
for the environment or have not gone through the exercise of checking those data sources and checking am i pulling the correct information as we can see here probably you have the syslog extension installed you're pulling all of those logs in but yeah logins and log ops are not there which is one of the things that you're going to initially start using to check if somebody added a new account to the system itself now you probably are going to say this is a windows system there should be iis logs I have been experimenting with this. Tyler Hudek from our IR, IR team has been experimenting, and we have not found a lot of information from the IS logs that would allow us to use that as a source for is a response. So I do caution you on that. If you're pulling the IS logs and you think that you're fully covered on that, my recommendation is to fully patch as quickly as possible. Probably just disconnect it for now and start looking into it. Now, if you are an environment that is under an MSP, a managed service provider, or a managed security service provider, I do recommend that you contact them and check if they're using this product to manage your environment. I know of people who have told me, hey, we don't use this, but I know for a fact, because I have worked with them before in the past and seen the system, that Actually, yes, remote access is installed on those machines and it's being used by the current MSP, but the IT department do not have this inventory at hand to know that it's actually being used. So yeah, I wanted to put out this video out there very quickly. I want you to go through the Huntress blog. I want you to go to into your advanced audit settings. I want you to look at the extensions that you have installed on those servers because I'm able to actually code an extension in C Sharp and quickly run it on that machine, and it's going to run a system. So that may allow some persistence for some attacker or to actually privilege escalate. And depending on the credentials that have been logged into that machine, it may allow for additional lateral movement. So yes, I want you to not walk, but run to your ConnectWise server if you have not patched disconnected and start doing threat hunting in your environment specifically for this look at the logs if you don't have logs go over to the different machines and start performing threat hunting exercises or if you have any perform an ir an insert response and quickly start triaging some boxes and start growing going through the different iocs and seeing if you have been targeted by this because Mass exploitation happened within 24 hours of this advisory coming out, which is a very big thing. So thanks again for your time, and I'll see you guys in the next video.